friends, welcome to my solo trip to Costa Rica. So I landed in the capital, San Jose, and from there took a tiny little plane over to this awesome beach town, Tamarindo. The first few days I stayed at Zen Garden and I have to show you guys this place because it was giving me life. I even had an outdoor bathroom, which was my favorite part. fun it can also be um, uncomfortable when you're by yourself in a country and you don't really speak the language but you know what they say about getting out of your comfort zone discomfort makes you grow so gotta do what makes you uncomfortable I guess and... so my first adventure was a sunset cruise I booked this through Natives Way Costa Rica and it was like a four or five hour cruise with a lot of other people which is great because you get to make friends some highlights would be the open bar. And the captain took us somewhere where we were all able to swim freely in the ocean, so that was also pretty cool. Due to the weather, we were dropped off right in time to watch the sunset from the shore. Good morning, brand new day. So this morning I am getting picked up because I have booked a adventure combo. So today is jam packed with adventures and it is 6.20 in the morning. I'm standing right outside my hotel waiting to get picked up because I believe it's like a three hour drive away, but I'm really excited. So this adventure combo was also booked through Natives Way Costa Rica, and it began with some good old fun zip lighting. So they strapped me up, and before I knew it, I was flying through the jungle. The second part of our super fun adventure was horseback riding. My horse's name is Celia. She was great and didn't give me any problems, which I greatly appreciate. Is that okay if I touch you? You seem to like it. <laughs> the third part and my favorite part was river tubing. I had never been river tubing before, and this was the main reason I booked this whole adventure day. I can gladly say I was not disappointed. adventure we went to visit some volcanic hot springs some of them were a little too hot for me but I did find a remote hot spring and I enjoyed it all to myself it's kind of cool one of the ladies um, on this trip she is also out here in Costa Rica by herself solo traveling so it's kind of cool when you do some tours, you meet other people, you might meet another solo traveler, so that's pretty cool. Other people are like, you're here by yourself? Like, like that's crazy. And then they're like, do you do this a lot? And why did you choose to do this? <laughs> why did I come to Costa Rica by myself? Because I want to I wanna travel, I want to see places. And unfortunately, I can't always wait for somebody to be ready to travel with me. Uh, you know, also includes my boyfriend. We have different work schedules. So sometimes if you want to do something, you can't wait for others. You got to do it. 
And you know what? There are some things that are uncomfortable in the process, but that's what makes you grow. It is a brand new day. And this morning I'm headed to the beach because I booked a beach yoga class. I've actually never taken a yoga class before because I have always been um, too scared to be the person that farts in class. But I'm hoping since this is on the beach, sound of the waves will, you know, cover all that up. You know, I've got to say, after taking my first yoga class, I'm disappointed I never took one sooner. It was awesome! I can also proudly say I did not fart. So this day, I also checked out of Zen Garden and checked into... And once again, I just have to show you guys because this place is such a vibe. I actually forgot to pack any pajamas for this trip, so I slept in those silky robes. After I checked in, I enjoyed a complimentary welcome cocktail at my hotel's restaurant and then a few other cocktails by the beach. And then ended my day with another epic sunset. Okay, so today I have hired a private driver to take me to Nosara, where I'm gonna explore. I'm gonna lie, you guys, so this is not the uh, cheapest option, but it'll be a lot of fun. I unfortunately forgot my driver's name, which I would usually feel really bad about, but he did call me Natalie a few times, so I feel less bad. He was so great though. We stopped through Nicoya where I got to see some people getting ready for Guanacaste Day in front of a very old church dating back to the 17th century. Next, we are at Nosada, a remote surfer town. The perfect place to chill, explore, and hang at the beach. Give me motivation, make my life vacation. When we are together, I surrender. Give you all my money, make you look so lovely. Never feeling lonely. Baby girl, you're so fun. I can't get you off my mind. Oh girl, na na. Oh girl, na na. Baby. You know, I am really having the time of my life out here. I love exploring new places, and I really don't mind being alone. I mean, you know, if you love yourself, I feel like you, you enjoy your own company. I laugh at my jokes. I'm funny to me. Oh, yeah, this is really nice. Quiera vida, Costa Rica. The next day I had the same wonderful driver and he took me to Montezuma where I really wanted to see a beautiful and majestic waterfall and that's exactly what I found. I've been putting on my fake smile even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just want to go my own way. Gonna let the past burn down cause honestly don't want to be stuck in more in conversations with you. I have to say, I think Montezuma had the most beautiful beaches I saw during my entire trip. So 
it's my last full day here in Costa Rica. I know, bummer. Yeah, and after so many adventures, I feel like I need to relax. So I booked a spa day. Well, more like half a day. So I'm really looking forward to this. So I have to tell you guys about this spa day because this was probably the best spa experience I have ever had so far. It all started with this wonderful woman giving me a 90 minute massage. I was in heaven. Then I got to relax in this Indonesian soaking tub of milk and coconut with flowers. Cause I'm a mess. No more you. an oatmeal and honey facial and then my amazing spa day ended with lunch by the way you can see everything I ate while I was in Costa Rica in my next video I then ended my last day in Costa Rica with one last epic sunset well friends that is the end of my solo trip and as always thank you so much for watching